What's up guys, it's Time Surfs here and I'm going to show you a basic uh, uh, tutorial on how to move text in Cinema 4D or any other object and how to create text if you're brand new to Cinema 4D. Um, also, I apologize if you hear any gunshots in the background, it's because I'm playing Call of Duty and I don't live in Brooklyn, just to warn you. But uh, here we go. So, we will go to MoGraph Text Object. It'll take a second to load, we'll click it, and then we'll type in tutorial. I think that's how you spell it, whatever though. Um, and then I'll move it into the middle. It doesn't matter really where you put it, um, but whatever. I'll give it some depth. I'll do 100, whatever, 101, 100, okay. And then I'll add my font, Bebas, Bebas, whatever you call it. There we go. I'll add some color, make it some yellow or orange, whatever. I don't care. Place it on there. Add a quick floor. And oh, not a light. Sorry about this. Um, and then we'll add a floor and sky. Okay. So I'll come to the object. I'll click on that. Uh, I'll click on the keyframe button right here, and it's right next to the refresh button or the whatever you want to call it as. I'll click it, and then I'll move the text forward or wherever I want it. Oh, I did. I messed up. Okay. So once you've keyframed it on the spot you want it at the first part, you go to the end point and move it to where you want it next of it here. Keyframe it and then go back and then as you can see the text moves. Um, you can do this any with any kind of text. It'll be cool for an intro. Um, I don't know. It's, it's super easy to do and I'll teach you guys how to render. Um, you go to this render little button, render setting button up here. You go to output. If you want to HD you do 12 I'm getting a bunch of messages from uh, Cinema GFX. Um, 1280 by 720, and then 0 to 90. Or you can just do all frames. It'll do 0 to 90 for you. Um, save it to wherever you want to save it. I'll just save it to desktop as tut. Click save, and then whatever you want to save it as. I'll save it as AVI movie. Um, if you want to add global illumination, it doesn't really matter. But um, I put my uh, scochastic samples as low and record density as low too. Um, and as you can see, global illumination gives it a cooler look. As you can see right here after it renders, gives it a better look than a normal thing without global illumination. I'll show you that in a second. Uncheck global illumination and I'll show you. Oh. Here. What's going on? We'll just remove that really quick. And whatever. I don't care. But it doesn't give it a bet as good as look as it does with global illumination, as you can see. Just media low and low. And then all you do is come over to this orange middle button of the render setting area and click it and it should um, start to render your uh, intro as you can see there it'll take a while to render if you have a slow computer but yeah so for all my hard work I think you guys should totally subscribe comment rate um, I might be applying for Google AdSense uh, because my views are getting my videos are getting a lot of views and you guys are liking them a lot which is helping me a lot so please like and comment and favorite and that'll be awesome thanks guys this is I'm Slurpsy and this is how to render place a uh, text object and move a text object see you guys